right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's me, Puddle Cakes. Apparently, my desk is kind of messing up with the green screen a little bit because I haven't fixed it yet. I'll, hopefully, I'll do it set up here soon and make it look nice again. But I'm actually here today because I promised that I'd do uh, somewhat a free to play series and kind of just go over epics in general, the difference they can make, and how important equipment is. So this isn't going to, this isn't meant to like tell you it's going to win. It's not meant to show you it's going to win or anything like that. What I'm doing is I'm going to fight Shinji's Squan Alex. He's got full epic gear. Uh, the only thing is I do have the 5% damage because he does have 5% or 5% attack. He does have 5% damage being VIP 17. So I am using Kusunoki and YSG just to kind of try it out. It's probably not going to be anything special. Uh, he said no skin. My skin. Mine is default. But uh, as you can see, <laughs> he said my skin is ugly. What a jerk. As you see, Kusunoki's nothing, nothing special. The build is pretty terrible, pretty basic. And with Kusunoki, it can be whatever. <laughs> I can't believe he said my skin was ugly. <laughs> um, oh man, look at that. Look at that damage. Oh, oh I'm actually doing more, more white damage? What the heck? I do not expect to win this. Not at all. Um, especially without equipment. He's got equipment on, I don't have anything. But, as you can see, I'm actually not doing too bad. Uh, you've got Iguan Alex, optima, optimal build. He's got which I believe in a Chisgill video pretty much said Guan Alex is the best setup. I've got a Kusunoki YSG, 50k tier 5, both sides. Um, not the most optimal build, no equipment, and he has good equipment. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? I, I totally <laughs> got his farm. In here. Oh, look at that. Look at that, 12. So, as you can see, nothing too great. Actually, not, not too many more severely wounded. So, I'm not too disappointed with that. Um, now I'm going to do... Oh, I meant to set this up before. I'm actually going to do Kusunoki and the considered best archer commanders... Or the, Best Archer Commander right now. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. So, with no equipment and old, old commanders, Kusunoki, YSG, YSG is still considered a top commander. Don't let this fool you. I'll put equipment on them and we'll see the differences, but pretty much it shows you that in a fight with no equipment, base commanders, you're still going two to one or one to two, I guess. So it's really not as bad as you would think. You know, like a lot of people get turned off about how they lose so hard lose so much against someone that is so strong but a two to one and your job is to support your alliance as you know a free to play so that 
You're whale. What in the hell is happening? What, what the fuck? I mean, what the, what the, what is going on? I, seriously, no equipment, guys. <laughs> I gotta go, I gotta go do this. I gotta go, where is it? No equipment. I'm actually messaging him in Discord. I'm I'm honestly in shock right now. <laughs> Alright, so we are going to do it again. We're gonna do a test again after this with Kusinoki and Ramses just to see I mean, that's, that's crazy. That's honestly crazy to me. I don't even have equipment. He's got full equipment on. Um, damn it, I messed it up again. <laughs> oh, so it's, the only thing that I've done with this test so far as I did expedition just to see if it was even like remotely close um, like if it did any different and the only thing I did get out of it was that Ramses was the only one that I saw significant difference secondary when I did Artemisia primary with Kusunoki, I actually saw some insane, insane uh, results. And by that I mean like, I did level 70, level 70 Kusunoki, or Artemisia Kusunoki, uh, with, oh, yeah, see, just a little bit of RNG, but still. Yeah, I did level 70, with Artemisia and Kusunoki, and I was still in green. That's pretty insane. Not gonna lie. So this one is a smidge closer. He he could actually win this because he's had a little bit more RNG. Uh, he could have had more shield procs or more Alex procs. Um, now remember, remember. In a video, what the, what the, where are your farms coming from? His farms are like 10 miles away, what the hell? But remember, so, there have been many people that have been posting that Guan Alex is the best. The best. And we just beat it again. Almost, almost exact same. Look at that. Now, I'm guessing a lot of that has to do with uh, Kusunoki's first skill. And since Guan attacks first, Kusunoki pretty much should get rid of any debuff. Because he, like, he enhances damage, I believe. Lowers defense. Oh, man. You can see my ugly Guan. Oh, 5 2 one, one. I was doing a test. I swear I was doing a test. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, the attack reduction. So, it's it's kind of crazy. So, let's do... Let's do another one. Um, oh yeah, Rams has sent his damn skill damage absorb. Okay, so 
let's do like this. So I want to, we'll put all the gear. We'll do, we'll put all the gear on Kusunoki. And of course, this Obviously, a free-to-play player is not going to get full legendaries, but the point of this is actually to show what you can do, and we already showed you that a Kusunoki, a Kusunoki, an original, epic, garbage <laughs> commander can outright win Versus a Guan Alex, considered one of the top tier commander setups for infantry right now. I see Guan Leo, I see Guan Alex, I see Guan pretty much anything right now. I, I see a lot of Guan Heralds. I, that is one thing that I might actually work on myself here in the very near future is a Herald. Now, I don't really play a whole lot of infantry. I usually use them as my supports. Man, I am really digging Harold. I I like Harold's kit. I like the setup. Everything. So, come on. Okay. So, this is with equipment now. So, the equipment is adding a lot of stats. I went from, if we look here in this first one, I went from basic 110.96.63, 110.96.63. Now, this is going to pump up my stats quite a bit. Now, me having the legendary equipment is going to put me a little bit above him, probably, with stats, but at the same time, he also has epic equipment on his Guan. And that's kind of the point that sets me up to kind of be more even with him, because really, a person that is free to play, they want to set themselves to a point where they're equal with pay to wins or just equal enough that they can help their, their alliance out. That's why I always personally believe that you should go someone tanky and you should go someone that like does debuffs or some whoa. What the heck was that last hit? So as you can as you can see here, we did the que complete switch route. Before it was 7287, 4514. Now it's 7621, 4768. Almost a complete turnaround. Look at my buffs. Now my equipment added a lot of a lot of stats. Does he have equipment on? So I had a little bit higher stats because of that, because I went from legendary to over him. But in the long run, you can see the difference here just from equipment. Uh, the other neat part is a free-to-play player can be someone that only focuses truly on one legendary commander. Like, if you pick the right legendary commander, you can win. You can, honest to God, beat a pay to win. We just showed it. So now we're going to do another one. But we're going to actually do Artemisia first. 50k. And Kusunoki second. Um, 
and this goes, you know, you can try a different commander. It doesn't always have to be that, it doesn't always have to be just Ramses, is what I'm trying to get at, I guess. And I think I might do one more. I might do Edward Kusinoki. Because Edward Kusinoki is one of those that a lot of people know. Okay, so he's going to beat me here, I think. He had a lot of procs off the start. If we look at this data, I think he had two Alex procs right away. I'm also trying a different build um, with Artemisia. The reason why I'm trying this build is because a lot of people are posting it. And I think even John Wick posted something along this build. Not necessarily a fan myself because I feel like the damage is nerfed. Oh, I can't. I can't send up the picture. I'll have to show it after. So, but this, this build is from uh, the John Wick video, and, oh yeah, stupid snip, snip. <laughs> I need to pull up my thing. So, this, this build is actually from the John Wick video. And, uh, like I said, I'm not really a super huge fan. Puzzled. We will. I can't do any of these builds. Oh, I don't like this build. I think this is another test build. <clears throat> we'll do. We'll try this build. I usually do. I actually most of the time go into test due to formation. I like it a little bit more. It ends up fitting my playstyle a little bit better. But a lot of people live by it. So we'll give it a shot. Alright. We'll switch to that. Oh, no, we've got 4,000 gems. One thing's for sure, I really like the phones. I like having the phone because it makes this all so much more simple. Plus I'm probably just used to it. All right, so we're gonna do the same setup, no gear, no equipment, different build, and we'll try this. He looks like he has more troops. So 
so far, what we learned is equipment is a major, 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 major difference. Equipment is an insanely huge difference. We did a Kusunoki without it, and then we did a Kusunoki with it. 20% stats on everything pretty much bumped up and made us win just massively. Other thing is, we noticed that I think I did a Herman Ramses before, and now I did Kusunoki Ramses. Kusun Ramses is amazing. Ramses is so good that you can actually beat pretty much anything with basically just Ramses. But in, I probably could solo him with Ramses, because that's just how good Ramses is. Um, and right now what we're learning is that the damage output from the archer tree is actually more important, and it looks like we're doing pretty good. I think what a lot of it has to do with is Kusunoki also has the where it, it negates it, gets rid of that one skill. A little better. joking about how Kusunoki is winning. <laughs> Look at this damage. Like, this damage is nothing. It's just, it's just crazy. Like, I like, I like Kusunoki because he, he used to be this aspect of, like, just removing, removing things. And then he does kind of like the bleed with the extra damage and stuff like that. And something that just people didn't really realize before. The other thing you'll see a lot is KVK2, I think it was KVK1, KVK2, or it was the first year that they had the Sunset Canyon, so I think KVK2. I remember YSG Kusunoki was like one of the tops. Added that tankiness, added a lot of stats, so we just barely won, barely won. Phew! Pull that one out of my butthole. So, now if I added gear equipment, that would just be destruction, but, um, I have no equipment on Ramses. I wanted to do Edward. Uh, Edward Kusunoki. So now, the reason why I want to do Edward Kusunoki is because um, there's also another... My computer is just loud lately. Don't know why. I feel... I'm sorry. That little buzzing noise is my fans and stuff. I think what I might do is I might move my computer down to the floor here this next weekend and see if it gets any better. If not, I am definitely going to bump up. I'm just going to go buy a good headphone. Right now I'm just using my headset. Alright, let's get in 24 minutes. So, uh, uno mas. Ichiban? Here we go. Boom. Oof. 
it's just crazy to me that there's so much talk sometimes that uh, that free to play are just useless, and uh, it's great. It's great that this has been brought up because it makes someone like me have the opportunity to talk about it a little bit more because everyone's so worried about you know the guy that spends a million dollars on this game or the guy that spends five hundred thousand dollars on this game and don't get me wrong they have endless endless supplies to stay alive in a battle but the, the point is you are doing your part for your kingdom and your part is to help out as much as you can you know like never give up honestly ne never give up um, that sounds super cheesy there's, there's this guy the heart squad Leon Hart <laughs> watches Pokemon cards opening all the time and he always did the right to never give up it's cheesy but it's it's honestly true it's really true um, you just can't give up you gotta play the game put the effort in and you can help out your alliance kingdom so we learned equipment matters with with free-to-play epic commanders we learned that Ramses matters when Ramses is secondary with Kusunoki no no equipment and thirdly, we learned that if you invest in one legendary commander, if it's Artemisia, Ramses, Edward, um, you know, even if we tried Tamiris, anything like that, you are still going to be useful to your alliance, no matter what. Um, are you going to be doing insane damage if you're 30 million power or less? Probably not because you're, you don't have max tech. But if you're 55 million power, you don't have, you know, you spent the, the time and the effort to bump up, but you are, have been saving your legendary sculptures for 150 to 200 days, you can definitely put in, get Ramses, be Archer Gang, Kusunoki Ramses running around, Herman Ramses running around, you know, Herman L. Sid, Kusunoki Ramses, you know, doing that uh, Caesar YSG I talked about before. And you can really be a massive help to your kingdom. Do a lot of damage. So I hope some people learned a lot this this video. Um, I think I'm going to do some infantry gang. Or I'd like to do Scipio here in the next couple of days. Uh, other than that, uh, if anyone has any questions, message me anytime. Uh, I would say like and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, at least get my name out there to help out your friends or whoever. Message me in Shinji's Discord. Link will be in the description. Thank you. Peace.